It's Valentine's Day, so let's talk about couples in Mortal Kombat. There's not much to untangle, but in the name of branding, let's go back to the beginning and see if we can untangle this yarn ball of a cannon. Welcome to Cannonball. There are a few criteria to be listed up front. We'll only be counting couples in which at least one member is a playable character, so no parents of X character. Only examples from the game continuity. Simple flirtation doesn't count, especially for absolute slags like MK11, Sindel and Aaron Black. And yes, this includes both romantic couples and purely sexual ones. And ones that are either of those depending on the writer, Sean. The first we were aware of was Scorpion back in MK1, who was known to have had a wife and son before his death. They continued to motivate him up until he avenged their deaths by killing Quan Chi in MKX. The game's prequel comic also established that Johnny Cage had previously been married to one Cindy Ford. Nothing is known about her or their relationship, but it was probably short-lived. Additionally, Goro had seven wives. We know nothing about them, so let's move on. The first playable couple was established in MK3. In addition to Sindel's original marriage with Jared, whom she loved, she was also forced to marry Shao Kahn, which was forced, fuck you MK11. MK Mythology Sub-Zero introduced Serena, whose desire to escape the Netherrealm with Bihan is often interpreted as romantic interest, which I don't personally agree with, even if the music during the scene is somewhat suggestive. MK4 canonized one of the most significant relationships, Liu Kang and Kitana, which had its origins in the 1995 movie. Beyond motivating Kitana in Deadly Alliance, the relationship wasn't all that important until 2011, which serves as a better beginning of their relationship than either Missing Real or You Killed My Best Friend Go Fuck Yourself or You Killed Khan I Guess I'm Super Wet Now. In Armageddon, Kira and Cobra of the Black Dragon have a clear bond, as both share their godlike powers with the other in their endings, only for it to go poorly for them. Cobra's even involved a kiss which is arguably all the proof you need. Baraka, upon gaining godlike powers and killing Onaga and Shao Kahn, offers Melina the position of his queen. This was expanded upon in MKX where an intro between Melina and Johnny Cage implies the two Tarkatans have indeed fucked. Sleeping with Baraka's repulsive. Who told you this? Speaking of which, MKX introduced quite a few couples mainly as part of the whole next generation idea the game focused on. While there had been hints as far back as Deadly Alliance including Johnny's explicit interest in her in 2011, it was MKX that finally gave us some progress on the Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade relationship. The two become much closer in the second timeline after losing so many of their comrades and then become a couple and have a daughter after defeating Shinnok. The MKX comic implies that they got together simply because Sonya got pregnant after a one night stand despite Sonya saying this. Johnny Cage is mine. No, he's mine. Fuck you comic. And MK11 with the same writer seems to view things the same way at times. What's it gonna take for you to respect me? Partial. Maybe full vasectomy. These are the past versions after they find out about their future daughter, by the way. MK11 Sonya is just the worst. Remember back in 2011 when Sonya attacked Johnny for harassing her, but then, after he beat up Kano and offered her a hand, Sonya smiled and took it. There was something there from the start. It was likely just physical attraction, with Sonya seeing a bit of Johnny's goodness underneath the obnoxious movie star persona, but it had blossomed into genuine love by the time they were taking on Shinnok's forces. Sean seemed to think they didn't actually fall in love until after Sonya almost lost him in MKX and that she actively despised him until the end of 2011. And it's a shame too because the Cage family unit is really sweet in MK11 so if Sean had portrayed them accurately it could have been something special. I mean I still think the way they bookended MKX's story was one of the best little bits of writing in the entire trilogy. She called me Johnny. She called me Johnny. Jax likewise gained a daughter in this game through his wife Vera, who only appears in the MKX comic. The same applies to Kenshi and his wife Su Chin, who had a son together. Su Chin dies during the time skip, motivating Kenji to leave his son with Scorpion and go off to avenge her, while Vera dies off screen between MKX and Eleven, sending Jax into an alcoholic depression and helping motivate him into joining Kronika. Maybe these parallels were just the writers being unoriginal, or maybe it was intentional, as MKX's final chapter sees the two couple's respective children, Jackie and Takeda, becoming a couple as well. And then Takeda disappears in Eleven, and Jackie doesn't mention him at all in the story, even though some intros suggest they're getting married. And one final couple established in MKX is Melina and Tanya through both flirtatious dialogue between the two in their intros. Dearest Tanya. Shall we proceed, Empress? It will be my pleasure. And Tremor calling Tanya. Melina's concubine. 
MK11 went fucking nuts with this stuff because Sean Kittleson is evidently really into this stuff to the point that he'll cram the most bizarre purrings into the game even if said characters have never even met. The prime example of this is, of course, Jade and Kotal Khan, who are alleged to have been together since before 2011, which is why Jade never mentioned Kotal and why he never made a move to ally with Earthrealm and storm the Netherrealm to save his lost love. But it's an eternal love that transcends time and logic, which is why he also fucked Devorah. Did you tell Jade about us? There is nothing to tell, Devorah. Such deception, Kotal. None are better than Jade. Save your slobber, dog. Most of the others are introduced via intros. Cassie apparently has a boyfriend by MK11. So how are things with you and Bob? For the last time, his name is Dylan. This is probably supposed to be a nod to Bob Dylan for whatever reason, but it makes me wonder why they missed this fantastic opportunity for a reference with Terminator when almost every intro he has makes one. His name is Dylan. You son of a bitch. Aaron Black has a thing for blood ladies, apparently. I stepped out with Natara before you. You clearly have a type, Aaron. Make the obvious joke yourself. In Cabal's ending, he's randomly married to Serena in his new timeline, despite having never met her before. Really, this just proves that the writers had no idea what to do with Cabal in this game at all. One of Noob's skins is called Jataka's Consort. While it's most likely just another of the 800,000 references in the gear and skin names, Hey yo, what the fuck? Bihan has actually met Jataka, and both are part of the Brotherhood of Shadow, so it's honestly the most believable of all MK11's editions. Let that sink in. I don't really have a conclusion here, so let's look at some cringe. Nice to see you again, legs. These legs will kill you, Black. But you don't have those leg moves anymore. What's cooking, good looking? Ugh, no. Seriously? Wait, what? Not what I meant. This is why I'm in therapy. Why swoon for that blue painted weakling? His open mind, strong spine. <laughs> Who knew our tech was so fragile? I could eat a peach for hours. I think that's all of them, but if I missed any, head down to the comments, look for a pinned comment where I list those I missed, and only then may you comment. Bray, you missed this one. I know! I acknowledged it, you fucker! Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day, piss off. If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you. Today's recommended video is Mortal Kombat 11 Kotal Khan Sucks by Sonic Heart XD. It's funny, points out the flaws in Kotal's story and relationship with Jade, and is actually how I learned he cheated on our goddess and deserves to die.